Hi everyone, this is Steve here from Shirt Trading. I'm very excited to share a very simple new strategy that I've recently discovered that I think could really help in your trading. Before we get into it, if you haven't already, please subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you get notified when we have new videos. And we have also just recently launched a free Telegram channel where we share trading content, tips and ideas. And the link is below in the description. Now that that's out of the way, let's move on to the strategy and how it works. Now for this strategy, we use two indicators. We use the parabolic SAR indicator and the 200 period moving average. So let's quickly start with the SAR. So according to Investopedia, the parabolic SAR is a technical indicator used to determine the price direction of an asset as well as draw attention to when the price direction is changing. Sometimes it's known as the stop and reversal system, SAR, and the parabolic SAR was developed by J. Wells Wilder Jr., who was also the creator of the Relative Strength Index, or RSI, which is also a very important indicator that traders use. Let's just put the indicator on the chart over here. Let's, um, as you can see, I have a US 500 chart. This is the Velocity Trader platform. Um, so on a chart, the indicator appears as a series of dots placed either above or below the price level. A dot below the price is deemed as a bullish signal. So these are deemed as bullish signals and a dot above the price is deemed as a bearish signal and the momentum is likely to remain downwards. Now when the dots flip, this indicates that a potential change in direction is underway. So if you have a look over here, we were moving upwards because the dots were below the price and at this point they flipped above the price which means that there's a potential downward momentum or reversal, uh, a reversal. And as you can see, this one worked quite nicely. So in its simplest form, you would use the SAR for entry signals when it crosses either above or below the price chart. So as we just said over here, you would use this as an entry signal when it crosses above and you would enter short and then again when it crosses below like over here you would then enter into a long position now as you can see like most other indicators the sar works best in a trending market and it can give you a lot of false signals as you can see in this area over here which obviously you want to avoid now that's where the 200 moving average comes in. Now this is just a simple moving average that I'm adding to the chart. The 200 moving average, you can see it here in red. And now we use this 200 moving average to give us a better idea of the trend and to help us avoid false signals. So if the price is above this 200 moving average, then we would consider it an uptrend. As you can see over here, this is the moving average and the price is above it. So that would make this an uptrend. And then when the price breaks below the 200 moving average, like over here, then this would then be considered a downtrend because the price is below the moving average. So when, when the price is in a downtrend, we disregard all of the long signals and we only take short signals. And similarly, if the price is in an uptrend, like over here, then we disregard all of the down or short signals and we only take long positions. This helps to um, get rid of a lot of the false signals that the indicator sometimes gives you. Now with this in mind, let's have a look at a few examples. So I think let's start over here where the price turns into a downtrend. So as you can see at this point, it breaks through the 200 moving average and is now in downtrend. So that would mean that we 
only take short positions. So the first place that we would enter would be when the SAR flips above the price because we're looking only for, for short positions and that would be over here and that would signify this candle over here. So we would enter a short position over there. And as you can see, it went all the way down to this level over here and then flipped a below. It flipped below the price level um, on this green candle. So you could have potentially taken the trade all the way to there for quite a nice profit. Let's just have a look and see what the profit would be. If you're trading one contract on the US 500, you could have potentially made around seven or 8,000 Rand on this trade. And then because we're in a downtrend, remember we disregard the signals to go long. So we wouldn't trade this at all because it um, is it a downtrend. Here it gets a little bit messy, but let's just have a look and see what would happen over here. So we would enter on this candle because it flips above. So we'd enter round about there for a short and it wouldn't work out because the price went up. So we make a bit of a loss over there and then we would enter again over here when the price moves, when it moves above the price again and we would potentially make another loss over here. But as you can see, these losses are a lot smaller than the gain we previously made. And there would be another signal over here. So it would be around about on this candle somewhere. So we'd enter there and we'd go up to there where it flips again. So we make three small losses. Um, let's have a look and see what they would be worth. Um, so it would be probably 400 Rand loss over there and a 1,500 Rand loss over there and a 1,100 Rand loss over there. So you're losing about 4,000 Rand, but remember we made 8,000 Rand on the way down. So moving along the chart over here, you can see what happens over here. Here we have a um, break through the 200 moving average over here, which means we are now in an uptrend. And when you're in an uptrend, you disregard the signals to go short. So we'll only be taking long positions from this point until it crosses through the 200 moving average and makes a downtrend again. So the first position we'll enter will be on this candle over here because it flipped below. So we'll enter around about there and we'll take this one all the way to when it flips over again, which would be around about that point. And then we disregard this next one because it's a short. And then we would enter again somewhere around this candle over here for a long position. And we would take this all the way to where it flips again, probably around there. And then Let's just have a look and see what sort of profit we would have made on those two trades. So we would have made around about 3,600 Rand on that one and probably about another 3,500 odd on that one. Because we're in the long trend, we would disregard the next signal because it's a down and then we would enter again when it flips below the price, which is over here with the candle. So we would enter 
on around about this candle over here and we would take it all the way to around about there which would then again give us a profit of something around 3,000 Rand. Another way that the SAR can be used, um, which is also a very important use of, of the indicator, is as a stop loss level. So if you look at these examples that we've just, we've just gone through, if you move your stop loss according to the SAR line as it moves, you'll see that it will help with locking in profits as the trade moves along. So let's have a look at this example over here where we entered long around about this um, around about this level over here. So if you had started by putting your stop loss over here at the line as the trade moves up You would then just continue to move your stop loss up with the dots and it's a great way of locking in profits as you go along and not making any unnecessary risk. Now as with any strategy, this strategy won't work all the time, which is why it's very important to manage your position size as well as your stop losses like we've just covered accordingly. So. There you have it, a great simple strategy that you can use in your trading. I really hope you found this video useful. As mentioned earlier, please subscribe to our YouTube and Telegram channels. The link for the Telegram channel you can find below. And remember to visit our website on suretrading.co.za to find out about our training and mentoring program. Happy trading, and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.